Yes, Denmark. <laughs> First of all, I just really wanted to go somewhere in Europe, and this program offered me the cheapest and the most economical options, and the courses transferred back. Mm, everything. <laughs> it's hard to tell, but just the place and the people that I met, it was from all over the world, and the faculty there, and like the way they, like the academic system there was just amazing. I fell in love with Denmark, I suppose, and now I applied for my master's program there. It was a new experience again all over for me, I mean, and I saw a mix of cultures coming along together so I was able to adapt better to the new because I knew like this is what is going to happen to me. It added on to what I already like had experienced. Some of the classes were really big and then they would break out into small group sessions and the group sessions would involve a lot of discussions and Students really love to participate there in Denmark and they're very like academically motivated I think mm -hmm. and the attendance is always 100% even though it's not mandatory and people love to hand in their assignments and they really work and like group projects for them means a way of socializing. The best part about my housing was that our bathroom floor was heated and <laughs> we didn't know about this until the last month of our stay there because we thought there was something wrong with one of the sockets or something because the floor was always so warm. And But besides that, we had pretty big rooms and they were all furnished. Some of the apartments had even the kitchen stuff in there so we didn't have to worry about like buying utensils and everything. No, people there can speak English as their second language, so not very much at all. Yeah, definitely.